for those of you that wanted to know more and decide to build one of these so here's your more with just your bumper attached you know the way I welded this I really didn't show so you know well this really good all around here it's all scheduled for the inch and a half then you know I just bolted it in the frame this setup here will stand by itself and uh, you've got your pin here so you can see your supports I welded these all the way around under here because this really takes a pounding right here a lot of vibration so just make sure you make full welds I did multiple passes on this nipple uh, when you weld your pivot point on you know I took this like I showed earlier I just took a couple strips of metal and kind of welded around that just to for a keeper but you know you just kind of weld your ends of your nipple on right here a little bit just to hold it in place but the real strength is going to be putting your gusset on each side so that's like 3 16th uh, piece of sheet metal just got to most of the metal for this come out of the scrap bins at steel yard so they were selling it 60 cents a pound it was cheaper than their other stuff so inch and a half will fit inside of inch and a quarter it's 3 16th plate here and uh just a couple pieces of rebar i got about 60 bucks invested in this uh, this is four inch channel i could have probably used three inch but uh that piece of channel iron weighs 22 pounds and then I would say all of the other steel put together may weigh another possibly 15 so this whole thing here weighs or it weighs around 40 pounds or so I would say you know ride more you're not really built to carry a big load or anything so uh, you can just drag it around and set it somewhere and when you need it pull up to it and just hook your bar up and go for it so uh, just remember you know cheap nothing fancy and uh, be sure you keep this about three quarters of an inch shorter and check everything on a flat uh, surface you can put a little bit of a forward cant to this blade but basically I would just kind of tack it up decent put it all together and try it out and then if you have to make any angular adjustments to this it'd be a lot easier I almost want to take and tip this channel iron forward some uh, one other thing I did have to do is I put these spacers under here just a little plate still because I left enough room for this to spin freely but what was happening is my blade had enough room to tip back and forth and side to side because it's not a perfect fit of course and uh, so I took and put a spacer over here and I welded a spacer right here between this pipe and that end plate and that took a lot of the play out of it and kept it from chattering so much on the road so you've got rock like this you know this thing will push around loose rock but you can see I mean it does okay I drug this first with an old box spring and then uh, you can just kind of push around the loose rock it seems to actually back blade as good or better than it does pushing so I thought that was kind of interesting hope you enjoyed